Hello and welcome back to another Talk War Gaming unboxing. This time we're taking a look at another Rubicon models kit. However, instead of it being a vehicle, this time we're looking at the German storage set number one. So on the front here we've got an example of the contents and flipping the box over, uh, you can see we've got the, the sprue listed here. All the different uh, components have been identified as with the numbers and also we've got a basic uh, kind of a set of instructions here. This is instead of actually having an instruction booklet in the set itself. So uh, now they've looked at the actual box itself and also uh, the instructions, let's open this up and take a closer look at the sprues. So here we have the German storage brew. Now you actually get two of these in the box set, so you get twice as many as you can see here. We've got a range of different options on this sprue. So we range from ammo boxes that we've got for the um, the Panzer IV and then also the Tiger and the Panther as well, 75mm ammo cases. We've got tracks for also for the Panther, road wheels, um, the Panther, uh, Panzer III and Stug and also um, some half tracks as well. We've got lots of different fuel options, we've got these uh, fuel barrels here, these halves there. And we've also got jerry cans and also some fuel pumps also. We've got some tow rope cables at the bottom there and various different tops and covers and canvas covers that you can see dotted about all kind of stowed in different ways. So there's plenty of options on the sprue that you can use to kind of t uh, kit out your uh, tanks or cargo. So now that we've um, looked at the components, let's assemble a few of these and see them uh, finished. So now that I've assembled a few of the components off the stowage kit, I've uh, attached them to my vehicle. So for example, I've got my Panther here, and you can see on the side there, we've got the, the, the uh, extra tracks attached to the turret, and also um, some tarpaulin as well. And then on this, the Opal Blitz that we've got here, um, we've got a few bits of equipment in the back of the truck there, kind of making a cargo truck. I haven't glued them down just yet though. Um, in terms of components to assemble, very, very simple. This was just simple one one piece item clipped off the sprue. It's a hollow at the bottom, and it's also kind of detailed on top. So once you place it down, you can't even see the fact that it's hollow. A few more other items, such as the uh, the barrels, a few components, uh, one on each side, and also a, a section for the lid as well. So you can see there's some great versatility from this kit. You can use it as a kind of conversion to make your trucks into cargo trucks. You can use it to kind of bump up the stowage mounts on your vehicles. Alternatively, you could also make uh, fuel and ammo dump scenery items or objectives for games of bolt action. So now that we've looked at some of the uses of the actual components, let's zoom out and get an overall summary for this kit. So that was the Rubicon model stowage set number one. It's a fantastic kit, uh, retails around about £10, so it's excellent value for money considering that you also get two sprues. You get plenty of options that allow you to kit out several vehicles, not just the one, so you maybe do about three or four vehicles from one box as well. Um, the great thing is it's 28mm, which means you don't have to just use it on uh, historical war games such as Bolt Action. You could also use it on other miniature sets that are in 156 scale, or even on other sci-fi games such as uh, Warhammer 40k, for example. Uh, uh, the plastic's very nice and easy to use, as we've come to expect from the other Rubicon kits we've looked at on this channel. So, until next time, thanks for watching, and goodbye.